No, let's let's <laughs> slow that down. Yeah. You're saying that you guys raised issues with the transport ministry and, and leadership yeah, no, in general. Many times, many times. It was many issues that were happening within the industry. People were dying, people were fighting, people were burning cars, people were frustrated and all that. All all to find that from the point of, of government, they see what is happening, but to respond to it in terms of enforcing the law. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were bullying you guys. What, instead, gov- instead of coming in and listening to your complaints and trying to resolve them, instead... No, no, they thought, thought, they thought good to a T. No, we don't know. You're not progressive. And they, even, they were even saying that you guys are not progressive. We need to be progressive. But when you speak about yes. impounding cars and those things, it sounds like they were trying to make your lives difficult instead of trying to help solve no, your problems. No, we had to stop. We have to we had to stop uh, protesting on on this, but the, nevertheless, and then the approach was different uh, as the time goes by mm. from our side. That we know, let's be relevant. Let's see how can we make this work for us. Mm. How can we make this work for our, our members? Yeah, uh, because of of course times are changing. I'm going to this thing of technology and digital system yeah. came. With emitter taxes, and many many people were laughing at emitter taxes, at saying, "Hey, these guys are don't they don't want to change." Sure. And then it affected the market here, and the market's houses, <laughs> Airbnb, Airbnb, mm. of which those those some of them they were laughing at us. Today you've uh, got um, uh, it's I think it's Media Twenty Four, Naspers. They're closing a couple of newspapers. Yes, came out in the news. So some of those people could have been laughing, but of those course. newspapers won't exist. Of course, those There's newspapers. Online now. They might be some, some of them. They might be laughing at. They might have been laughing at us. Yeah, and also you'll make an example with him. Do you remember the company that was called Kodak? The Kodak. One, yeah, you can remember the company. They, that they, does they cameras told, and yeah, yeah, yes. It, yeah, the introduction of technology in terms of the smartphones sure. killed them. Killed Kodak. So now, <laughs> as much as we embrace technology, yeah, but at the same time, we we need to um, position ourselves that it doesn't affect us negatively. Yeah. So now, this this is decision that we have made. Yeah. That this position ourselves that we're not the victim. Instead, uh, let's try and work with. The local tech companies. I'd like to ask a very sneaky question, mm. and I apologize that I'm putting you in this uh, sure. in this funny spot. Mm. Between the two, who do you think has bullied you guys more into accepting technology, uh, government or the tech companies themselves? Well, the tech companies. Let me ask. I, I answer it this way: the tech companies they had to penetrate the industry by what? By obviously. Distracting the, distracting the, sure. yeah. So now the government were supposed to respond, correct, based on the law, yeah. And the government did not up until now did not respond according to the law, yeah. But now that bill has been signed. Uh, Ramaphosa signed a bill about a week ago. That's got to do with e-hailing. What do you mean a week ago? Today is the yeah a week ago. Today is the eighteenth of June. Yes, twenty twenty four. Yeah, he signed it a week ago. If I'm not mistaken, it should be about two weeks ago, but he signed the bill regarding e-hailing. Regarding reg, no, what well, it regards many things, but okay. the e-hailing as well it has been passed into law. What was the bill and and what were the implications? No, it doesn't say much. Whatever that we have been, uh, our inputs in terms of uh, as far as the technology is concerned, sure. I think we're taken into consideration because of it's only the definition. Yeah, it does not say much about the the, the difference between the meter text and and, uh, and the e-hailing is still under Section 66, of which it says the e-hailing is technology, is electronic hailing. Okay. That uh, you can request the vehicle that is less than, that takes less than nine people. Okay. Uh, either by the system, which is an app, yeah. or by hailing. So meaning hailing, it, and then it's, it, and then it explained that is the car that it can operate in terms of roaming or it operates in terms of being e- e- hailing. Okay, you understand. So now that will, then that it means that you can either request using the app, sure, or request using a WhatsApp, okay, or request using an email, sure, or, or request, a phone call maybe, or phone call. Yeah. So it does not restrict you that you must only use. The e-hailing, sure. of which the, with the meter text, it was like that. Mm. 
it was based on the fact that you request either by using a phone call mm. or either by, you didn't know that the thing, a radio, whereby having an office and phoning the office, then the office will phone the driver sure. or something like that. Sure. Yeah, either by that or otherwise. So the, 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 the definition of the operation mm. is about you connect with the customer. Yeah. At uh, at the convenience of the client, yeah. and you go pick up the client. Yeah. So now it does not restrict you. You must only have the e healing. I'm trying uh, to figure out Zuguti, whatever Ramaphosa signed. What was the change from before and then after he signed it? I didn't see any change other than the 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 Martin. The inclusion of e healing. Of e healing. Yes. In this in this terms of the definition. Oh, that now yeah. now Ramaphosa signed a bill which now is inclusive of e healing. Yes. Almost yes. as a legal thing now that you can do. Yes, it's legal now. It's okay. now it's now it's now legal. But again, yeah, your stress, I would say you must have a permit. It says in the bill. Yeah, you must have a okay. permit. You can't operate without a permit. A permit is what the PDP. A permit is an operating license. Is that PDP is going okay. to do with the driver? Okay, there's a difference between a driver and the operator. Okay, the operator is me, mm. me being a person that applies to operate. Okay, and if I apply to operate, I, op I apply to operate in a certain municipality. Okay, so let me say I come from Negrulene, mm. so I apply to operate in Negrulene. I'll make an example. Uh, Maybe in a, in a town like Brakpan and a town like Pinoni. Yeah. So I see there's a market there. Then I apply to operate and I identify the the, the, the place that that I'm going to operate from. Yeah. As a starting point. Yeah. Then the government and then if I apply, the municipality will then look at that, and then after looking at that, we will have to they will have to check if there is a market there, and then after checking if there is a market, they will then approve it. This is called granting. They will grant it. Mm -hmm. And granting it, then you use a gazette. And then you have a gazette. If people operate around there, they will be affected. And then they'll be a, they'll, they'll write my, my inputs, what they are against it or not. But if there's no one, then they'll, 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 they'll issue their the operating license to you. In this case, sometimes they say you're operating, like from, for instance, myself, I operate from Canada City Casino. You speak to the casino or you speak to the the mall, mm. and then we have an agreement where they need this kind of service, and then they demarcate uh, the the place where you're gonna operate from. Yeah, and then they they grant you a letter that you're gonna take to the municipality that you, you are in partnership. Yeah, and then the municipality then will then grant the operating license for you. When we have an operating license, then you are in operate. But Th if this, is, driver, this is what's existed with meter taxis. Uh, E-hailing came and they didn't follow they this They didn't follow process. all those things. They didn't follow all those things. Okay. So the driver with a PDP yeah. is just a driver that must be checked that you are fit to drive passengers. Okay. So it's not an operator. Okay. So an operator will have an operating license for the vehicle. Mm. So the operating license belongs to the vehicle. 